All right. Hey YouTube, and thank you for watching Junkworks DIY Garage. Well, I'm in my Jeep here, and uh, I got my seat belt. I'm gonna take this off. And I don't know if you can see this, but right here it's frayed. Here, all along here it's frayed. It's also frayed. Yet again, don't know if you can see it in this area. And when you start seeing frayed seat belts, there's usually a problem. I don't know what happened here. All the rest of them look pretty good. In fact, this one looks almost Regardless brand of that, new. Quite. We're going to replace the seat belt. I looked, and these are, you can no longer get them from uh, new. And even when you could, they were 600 and some dollars. So, um, probably look for prices to start going up on these because right now is when everybody's going to be needing them. And because this seat belt has airbag stuff in it and electronic stuff in it, I went ahead and just undid the whole battery. I'm going to let it sit for a while and hopefully uh, leave it long enough. This is one of those places where if you do anything I do and something happens I'm not responsible. You should uh, do your own research and make sure you're doing everything the way it should be done. And but the first thing you're going to do is pull your seat all the way forward and flip the back of your seat also all the way forward. Next thing, you're going to have a cover right here, but I do not. So, I don't know if the guy that sold it to me was getting ready to do that and uh, didn't get it done or had some sort of problem. Let's hope not. Um, either way, that's broke. I'm assuming there's probably some clips and screws holding that on by the looks of it. So, you're going to have to figure out where those are and what they are. Um, because I don't have to do it but that will get you to this which I'm assuming is probably a T50 but I will find that out for sure and uh, we need to pull that off but first, first we're going to do the back door here and right here is a part that needs to come off that the seat belt right here goes into so this whole thing here needs to come off it also hooks up front but I'm going to see if I can just pop this off and uh, just get this part there we go so that pulls it right out there should be able to bring the seat belt through a little hole here and you're gonna have to deal with this being right here but I think we can get down in here and there's your seat belt mechanism and right here I'm assuming is another T50. We're going to come up we'll from there. Out. We're going to go here. And that should pop. Yep, that'll pop up. And I don't know what size that is. Probably 15 millimeter. We'll see how good I am or bad I am at figuring things out. But uh, I'm going to go grab I'm some going tools. And starting with and this one just because I'm here and checked it. And it is a T50. Well, I'm having trouble kind of filming in here. And you'll see this is where I was. Not, I was thinking it came out and it, there's nothing there to undo. Right here is actually, but down below that is the T50. Uh, and then there's this plug here, which quite honestly doesn't totally look the same as the one I have. So I'm going to have to check that out. But there is a yellow plug down there that you unplug. So I'm going to mess with this one down here. I'm, I can't film it right now. It's just... I can't get things out of the way enough and my light's not good enough, but that gives you a basic idea. Undo this, so undo here this. Is, I can get it out, but oh, it just popped out. Are you kidding me? But it is underneath here, so to get it back in, you got to pull this out. There's a little T slot that this comes up. This piece here comes up pull forward and it pops out so there's that and the last thing did I say 15 I'm hoping oh nope what is this is this a 15 millimeter yeah this might be a merkin I will go on at 5 8 yeah about the same but we're gonna go with it I'm trying my new gear wrench ones while they're still really new and they'll send them back if I want to. I haven't even done a video on these yet. This is the first one I've pulled out of the package. Well, besides the metric one. 
And that pulls that off. Now that looks like it has Loctite on it. That's just weird. That's that. Adjusts. So I am going to go ahead and get some Loctite and make sure I put it back on the new one. Um, these actually look like they might have anises on them of some sort. So I will probably put a little bit of Loctite on before these. Before you put that in, which I should have thought about this because I couldn't get it to, to go long enough. But you got to hook it in down here. And I don't know. I tried plugging it in. It still didn't move. It wouldn't move until I actually hooked it into this upper mount up here. Right there. Once I hooked it into that upper mount, it must have pushed whatever there's. I'm sure there's a safety catch on here somewhere. And now it opens up just fine. Now here's the problem. I'm already seeing that this is frayed. Same as the other one. So I'm going to be calling my buddy. And seeing if we can get another, another one. side nut. For some reason, whoever took this out completely pulled the bolt, and there's like a lock washer kind of type thing that's supposed to lock that on there so this shouldn't come out. So I don't know why they did that, but I had to knock it out of mine, and uh, we'll be putting it in here, and hopefully that'll kind of squish it back where it needs to be. Well, we have a new seat belt. Uh, unfortunately, we still have that, but I called the guy I know at the parts place and he, uh, at the wrecking yard, and he's gonna get me another one. And I'll throw another one of these in. As you can see, it was fairly easy. Uh, lock tight all your bolts, but, or thread locker, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, but you should put something on them probably, just to be double sure. and. Uh, I will do that when I finish this off because I'll probably be going and getting it later today or tomorrow anyway so this will work for a couple days and maybe we'll be a little safer probably not but regardless they're pretty strong but when you start seeing this kind of thing they should be replaced all right thanks for watching Junkworks DIY Garage where I'm proud to say I'm a jack of all and I'm obviously master of none you all have a good one